interested in doing a detox or working on your detoxification, you need to make sure your body can do this. I'm Marissa Fay. I'm a hormone and gut health expert for women. I help women reverse their symptoms with natural methods and actually feel better. I also teach women about more natural, less hormone threatening ways that they can do personal care things like dye their gray roots. Okay, but back to the point. You have got to make sure that you can sweat. And not only that you can sweat, that you do sweat daily. Some people, like the person who commented on a recent video I posted, actually have trouble sweating. Like they don't sweat at all, or very rarely, or only in the middle of the night. That one really sucks. But if you're somebody who never sweats when your body is warmed up, and that could be from something like exercise, or it could be a hot bath, or it could be a sauna, or it could just be a hot summer day. But if you're not sweating, your detox pathways are backed up. You've got four detox pathways. I've done a couple videos about this and I will link one in the description of this video. But one of those pathways is through sweat, which means one of the ways your body needs to move toxins out is through your skin via sweat. Now it can be tempting if you don't sweat easily to go get some kind of pass to a sauna place and do infrared sauna like crazy. And you'll probably find if you do something like that, that you feel pretty terrible. So first, you actually have to prepare your body to sweat and prepare your body to release those toxins that are backed up that haven't been able to come out via your skin and sweat. The best way to do this is remove harmful chemicals from your personal care, cooking, home environment. Next, address what you're eating. So make sure you're including nutrient dense foods in your diet. You're reducing your exposure to things like trashy inflammatory oils, which is gonna be anything made from a vegetable, a seed, or a flower. Make sure you're pooping every day. And then if you're really feeling ready for this, and there are sometimes even more steps some people need to take, so I can't tell you exactly what your body needs unless we work together, but in general, that's at least the bare minimum of things you gotta make sure are happening. And then you can do things like this. So I really recommend people start with something like a warm bath that has magnesium in it. Make sure you filter your bath water, folks, because we don't need any more exposure to chlorine or fluoride. And before you get into that bath, drink a cup of warm ginger tea. Ginger tea can help momentarily increase your internal body temperature. You can also use this ginger tea trick before going for a walk outside, for example, a brisk walk and maybe wearing an extra layer of clothes. That's another way that we can try to heat up the body a little bit more. And also in combination with the ginger tea, it just helps it to be a bit more effective. Whatever you do, move slowly because it takes a while to get to the point where your body isn't sweating. 